Hi, my name is Adam Blackman, and we're going to give you a little tour of our house here in Crestwood Hills. We've been in this house, my wife and I, for 25 years, and we're going to take you from room to room and show you unusual, beautiful things. One of my latest finds is the car I'm sitting on, this Ford OSI 1967. There's only three in this country, and I'm sitting on one of them. So let's head on in. So the style of the house, it's an international style. A. Quincy Jones and Whitney R. Smith did this whole area between 1946 and 1950. And what's so important about this, declaring it a historic cultural monument, it's securing it that it can't be torn down. And I think we did a pretty good job restoring it. My wife and I did this because we wanted a calming element as you're walking into the house. So you can walk into the house this way or walk through the front door that we're gonna do right now. So this dining set is called the Gazelle Line by this designer, Dan Johnson. It's all bronze and marble, and it's called a Gazelle Line because each chair and the table has a bronze gazelle with the feet, with the head, you see the horn here, and the table has the exact same thing. And this piece right next to us, this chandelier, called the Miracle Chandelier. I love these crystal rays of light coming off of this thing. What's lovely about having a meal at this dining table is that you always kind of feel like you're outside, especially when you're looking out and you see the Japanese maple and the air, the breezes go from one side of the house through the other. When we're not dining, we spend a lot of time in the sitting room over here. So now that we're in the sitting room. This is our record table. What I did was I went to different thrift stores around Los Angeles and I bought like 400 records. We bolted together and actually had that cast. And one of my favorite pieces really is this the Papa Bear chair. What's nice is the original leather and I've had this thing for like 25 years and talk about wanting to sit and read a book in this chair. It is the most comfortable. The sofas might come and go but this and these guys we're going to be holding on to for a while. Being a house that was built in 1949 and in the 40s and 50s, you'll first notice the cinder block fireplace. You know, they used very, very basic materials, not just the cinder block, but Douglas fir and the cedar. That's very typical of this area of Crestwood Hills. So in this room, we're surrounded by a lot of earth tones. The concrete and the cinder block, everything lends itself. And of course, we have a very striking blue painting on the fireplace, which really kind of stands out. Just like the coffee table, which is a mad coffee table. It's just kind of amazing to look at after all these years. A lot of the things, as you can see, that are surrounding us, these are never sell items and actually great conversation starters. So after a long day and enjoying a book here in the sunken living room, let's go to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom is definitely one of my favorite rooms. You have the windows completely opened up, not just to the pool, but beyond, you have the Getty Center. You have all the wood in this room. You have the exposed cinder block. And of course, Pepe Mendoza is making an appearance with one of the largest coffee tables that he ever made. The nightstands didn't come with the house. We bought them at an auction and they seemed to be absolutely perfect. And it was the bed that we designed that we wanted to go with the nightstand. So everything kind of builds on to everything else. And completing the whole experience, you can go right from the primary bedroom right outside. Again, the indoor, outdoor living. Well, that wraps up the tour. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I certainly did. And we'll see you at the next property. Before you go, let us know if you enjoyed this video. Drop us a like and subscribe.